All right, hi everybody. We are back and hopefully you enjoyed that push workout that we just put on the channel. And everybody said, well, well you gonna do a pull workout? I said, be patient. And that's what we're here today to do. An old school pull workout for mass building. So stay tuned and here we go. All right. So we're gonna start this workout with uh, one arm barbell row. What you didn't see me do is I did a little activation sequence. Uh, really, I could feel my lats today, but I know they can be better. So I, I did an activation sequence. If you wanna see what it was, just click on the link above. It's an awesome sequence. So now my lats are feeling great. So we're gonna work our way up here, doing these one arm barbell rows. I started doing these I'm pretty sure it was before Nationals in 2002. Uh, yeah, so that was 16 years ago. And immediately my back got better doing these. So this has always been a favorite exercise of mine, these one-arm barbell rows. So we're gonna do these for heavy sets of eight today. Probably hit three or four sets of eight, real heavy. All right guys, so We've made it to the heavy weight. One of the questions I get a lot is, when do I use straps on back? I try to save them. Uh, I got these from Elite FTS, by the way. They're called So Easy Straps. I assume they still have them. I got these years ago. Um, I like to use straps just on the last set, usually. So you won't see me use them all the time. But when I get to the heavy weight, I don't want the, my grip to be the limiting factor. So I didn't use my straps until right now. Now we're at our heavy weight, so. Here we go. Nothing says old school like pullovers. The best would be a pullover machine. Those old Nala's pullover machines. For those of, for those of you who uh, have had a chance to use those, those are the best. But we're gonna do dumbbells today. I do my dumbbell pullovers a little differently than most people. I lay on the bench instead of across it. And also take note of how high I'm pulling the dumbbell up. I'm only going above my head to keep tension on the lats. I'm not pulling it over my stomach or my chest. So just pay attention to that. So one of the things you saw was I've got a really good range of motion on these and that's a couple reasons why. I had deep tissue work done yesterday. When I get my deep tissue work done the day before I train back on my back, my flexibility is so much better and I can feel everything working better. Um, the other thing is, is don't force your range of motion. Each set you do, you'll get a little bit looser and a little bit looser. So don't stretch it and hurt yourself. Just, let your arms fall back where they naturally would and pull the weight back up, but don't force it, okay? So here goes another step. All right, so we just wrapped up three sets of pullovers with dumbbells. Now, we're getting ready to do some rack pulls. I'm gonna do these a little differently than what you're used to seeing. So I want you to watch closely, comment below, and let me know what you think I'm doing differently, all right? Let's see if you guys can figure out what I'm doing.
All right, so nothing says old school like, you guessed it, five sets of five here. So five sets of five. All right, so you can see we moved on to chins. I'm using a kind of medium grip. I think you get a better range of motion with a medium grip, but we're doing four sets to failure. If you can get at least 10, add a belt with some weight. Um, if you can't get, I would say six, I'd probably use an assist machine just to give yourself a little help. But you wanna be kind of in that seven, eight, nine, 10 range is where I like to be on these. So here we go. All right, so we're on our fourth set now. A couple things, make sure you keep your chest arched, your sternum arched. Don't cave in your chest or you just turn this into a bicep exercise. And the other thing is, is notice how I'm doing these little partials at the end. Great way to pump some more blood in your lats. So after you can't get your full range of motion with good form, instead of cheating, just do some partials. All right, so, man, that was tough. Those are just some old weighted hangs. I used to do those weighted hangs at John Perillo's back in the early 90s. I'm not real strong on them. You should probably try two, three, four plates and try to hang for 60 seconds. Make sure you use your straps. Um, so now let's move on. Let's finish our pull workout with some biceps. So we did four sets of eight on your good old barbell curls. And we had like an old school arm blaster to keep our form tight. Now, moving on to our last bicep exercise. So we moved on to our uh, last pull exercise for the day, which is uh, it's a bicep curl. We're doing dumbbells. It's, a, it's an angle really like a spider curl. It's more straight up and down. So we're doing four sets of failure, failure being anywhere from six to nine reps, okay?
so that's your pull workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a tough one. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. If you like the video, share it, subscribe. See you next time.